Hey guys, it's Binary, and I am back from the dead. Uh, no, just kidding, I just haven't, uh, haven't had the time to make videos lately. Um, also, my videos are going to take a little bit of a drastic shift from talking about games to talking about uh, making games. Um, so, what I've been working on uh, the past couple of weeks at least um, has been uh, basically trying to teach myself how to um, make my own game assets. Uh, for an XNA project that uh, hopefully I will complete and, uh, and put out sometime in the near future. Um, but basically the problem has been uh, getting getting art for these games. You know, I've been able to program for quite some time now, but I have not had anyone interested in drawing game assets, so I said, let's just learn how to draw it myself. Um, so I looked around for a while until I found a, a quite a good tutorial site, um, which directed me to this lovely program, Inkscape. Um, now, Inkscape is a vector-based uh, graphics program. Um, what that means is basically after you draw something, um, you can scale it up and down, no problem, uh, no loss, because the, the graphics are actually represented by a, by a mathematical formula rather than just uh, defining it, the shape, pixel by pixel. Um, so yeah, you can play with the image and, and uh, you know, do all sorts of things. Um, the the nicest thing about this is you don't have to be able to draw to actually um, make some decent looking art. Um, so let's say that I wanted to uh, I wanted to manipulate this a little bit. I didn't want it to be um, a circle. I could uh, just go object to path. Um, use my tool here, and then you can see the anchor points. So if you wanted to manipulate these anchor points. Um, Usually, it's best to add a couple in between here. Um, you do that by clicking the two um, two anchor points. Um, click the first one, then hold shift to click the second one, and uh, click the plus button here. Um, there may be a keyboard shortcut, but I'm not familiar enough with the program yet to know what it is. Um, once you have that, um, you can basically manipulate these points to be whatever it is you need them to be. So for example, you can make like an egg type shape here um, just you know with a couple of, um, with a couple of manipulations um, all right the um, the thing you got to keep in mind is that it gives you two options here um, once you have your anchor points you have um, the direction of the point from that point and you have the actual like vertex of the point. Um, and you have to make sure multiple points aren't selected or you get things going on like what I'm having trouble with here. Um, and that's like really crappy, but it's an egg type shape. Um, so I mean, that's the program. I, I, there's a bunch of other features, but I'll, I'll leave that to you to figure out. Um, so that's what I had to do. I'll, I'll put a link in the description of uh, of the the tutorials that I went through to uh, familiar, familiarize myself with this program. But really, you just have to you have to use it to get any good with it. Okay, now here's um, a basic animation that I did um, with the character I created. Um, the orange background uh, is kind of arbitrary. You can pick any color you want, or you don't even have to do the color. I basically just set those as reference points for the frames um, so that I know um, where the placement is in between each frame. And I have a little separation there just so you can actually see the line. Um, now when I finalize um, my animations, I'm going to be exporting this anyway, so I won't actually be using this strip. Um, so what I've done here is I've I've drawn each of these guys in a separate layer and I'll show you a little more detail on the process I went um, went through doing this because it was a little more uh, troublesome than I wanted it to be um, mostly because I did this like a bunch of times before I actually got it right um, so you notice I have a bunch of layers here. You can show your uh, your layer window by using this keyboard shortcut, Shift Control L. Um, so yeah, let's just we'll hide all the layers except for the first one, and then we'll zoom in on this guy and we can take a look. So the way that I did this 
is I have my first frame be like the resting position um, for the character. Um, now when a character moves, well when anyone walks, um, there's usually a, a, a synchronization between uh, the one foot and the opposite hand. So you'll see this foot lining up with this hand in my animation and uh, this uh, hand lining up with this foot here in the back. Uh, it's a little hard to click things sometimes with this. If you just zoom, then uh, it becomes a little bit easier. Um, so now the easiest way to do this, at least that I found, um, that's not even the right one, is to use um, one of these little circles as refer po reference points. Um, so the basically the, the the feet make a sort of circular movement while you're walking. Um, so by by mapping out these points, I basically drag the center of my circle here. Um, or you, you can use any frame of reference if you are drawing an actual foot. You can set the toe tip to be here or anything that you like. Um, and basically each frame you just move it um, to this next point. Um, whereas with the back foot, you started on the exact opposite point. Now. I, since my guys turned a little bit, I actually um, didn't align this back foot with uh, with this dot. I actually more or less aligned it with this one, um, and you'll you'll see how that turns out in the in the final animation. But uh, to get this circle going, I had to I had to do a couple of attempts, um, basically because I, I didn't have the feel for how animation worked and and how that would end up looking. Um, I'm not sure if there's a general rule to drawing feet or not, um, but with this particular character, um, it took about half of the body width um, for the circle. Um, so I'll bring up my second layer and show you here. If you look, um, this the the foot uh, is is moving in a in a uh, counterclock or sorry in a clockwise direction. Um, both feet are actually moving clockwise. They just have different starting points. So you see, this foot was at this dot um, at this frame. And it's moved. Its center has moved to here. Um, so what this gives us is a nice um, circular type of walk. Um, so your your fifth frame should be when your feet are at their highest point. Um, so once you're finished, uh, the final product will look something like this. So here's my animation after uh, after it's been put into uh, XNA Game Studio and some code has been added to uh, make them walk. Um, so I have this set up so that uh, when the keyboard state, um, when, when you have one of the arrow keys or uh, D or A pressed, uh, the character will be walking. Um, otherwise, um, he's going to be in the, in the idle state, which is right now in just the first frame of his uh, of his walking animation. Now I'll make another tutorial uh, later uh, showing how to uh, take um, an animation and put it into XNA and uh, the code that goes behind that. Um, but for now uh, I think that'll be it. So I'll post a link where you can download uh, Inkscape, the drawing software, and I'll also post a link to the tutorials that uh, got me started with uh, 2D animation. Uh, and, and graphics. Um, so if you guys have any comments or questions or, or maybe suggestions on how I could improve, um, just uh, put a comment or send me a message or something. Um, and thanks for watching the video. Hope it helped you.